Good morning, modern steaders. Good morning. It is a nice, brisk 10 degrees out this morning, and it says it feels like negative 3 Fahrenheit with the wind chill, but it's kind of weird. I'm excited for the cold because we have a big delivery coming today on a big truck, and we need the road to be frozen to get the delivery to the off grid property. Frozen because we have, we have mud. We so have we mud. Want to have frozen right. mud. <laughs> we don't want the big truck getting stuck, so we. Been keeping an eye on the weather and we scheduled the delivery for the cold day. I hope that makes sense. So we got to get our chores done and then we'll get up to the off grid property and meet the, the, wow, it's so cold I can't even talk. And we'll meet the delivery driver up there. It's gonna be exciting. Good morning, chickens. It will make it so we can have, be even closer to being up there. Right. It is. Look at that, we're matching with our winter hats today. Nice. <sighs> we gotta get our hats back on today because it's cold and it's actually snow flaring out right now. Hopefully the snow ends shortly. We just got off the phone with a delivery driver and he is on his way. He's about 20 minutes out. So we're up here at the off-grid property and they were able to get some gravel up here today too with the ground being frozen. So that's a good thing. We we're getting some progress made and we're taking advantage of the cold weather even though we don't want it. Right? <laughs> it's work <laughs> we might as well have it work to our favor. Just a little bit of snow this morning.
yourself. I will. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you next time. I hope so. <laughs>so cold the crazy thing is, is even though it's so cold the area where he offloaded everything is pretty muddy from him driving over it so this isn't where the final resting home for these buildings are but we wanted to leave them down here because our field up above we didn't want to be getting it all mudded and rutted up so we're going to deliver it down here and one of the great one of the great things about the way to make a cottage shop's delivers their stuff they deliver it on pallets but they're skids and that way you can drag them to wherever you need them so wherever they offload them if they can get to where you want they'll bring it right to where you want it your building site but for like us right now we're not ready for it up at the building site so we can put them down here and then we'll be able to bring them up with the tractor we got them so early because they're pretty far out on their delivery dates right now because they're so busy so we wanted to make sure we had the building material on hand when we're ready to build them, we didn't want to have to be waiting for a delivery. So that's why we got them when we got them. But I'm looking forward to it. We've never built these buildings before. These are going to be for our animals. So like Gina said earlier, this is the, one of the next phases we need to do because we've got to have shelters for our animals to live in before we can move up here. The chicken coops, we can bring. Mm -hmm. The barn that the goats stay in, we cannot. The goat run. We can bring that up, the hay feeder, anything mobile, we're gonna be bringing to this property with us. But any of the big structures, we got the barn, we got the equipment shed, the firewood shed, our outdoor kitchen over our other property. That's all staying with the property when we sell that. So we need to have different barns to have for our animals. But if you guys wanna check out Jamaica Cottage Shops, I'm gonna have a link in the video description down below. Let me know what you think we're gonna be building for the animals. We've never built this these before so it's gonna be something different and fun I'm excited for it I'm excited I think this is gonna be this is a great choice for us right now I think it's a great choice for us right now and how we in plan future. on developing this property they're gonna come in handy and they're gonna work really well for our future goals with the farm we're building here these are gonna be really nice homes for our goats because they're spoiled right now so they all enjoy these too, I believe. Yeah, they're going to be just as spoiled, I think, if not more spoiled <laughs> than these. Or when we get sheep, they will have a place too, and we can keep them separated if we want, or we can group them all together. So I think this is going to have a lot of options, a lot, a lot of different opportunities for us on this property, and we're really, really excited. So the pallets are built on skids, so we can drag them around. And then everything's netted and labeled and then cover with plastic and they tell you like what's in each bundle. If you guys are new to the channel, we have built three other buildings from Jamaica Cottage Shops. They sell pre-cut kits in different forms. You can get just like the post and beam structure of them. You can get the kit like we have. This is like the whole kit. It's everything you need, the siding, the post and beam part, the roofing, the flooring, the doors. You can get all of that. And if you want, you can actually get all of them built and they'll deliver them pre-built for us. We like building them, that's the fun part. One of the really things, one of the things we really like a lot about Jamaica Cottage Shops is, is when you order the kit, everything you have is here. Your fasteners come with it, all the boards are cut, they give you extra boards just in case you don't like one or something's broken, you'll have an extra board and you'll have to make a cut a piece here or there if you wanna replace something, but everything is here, especially right now with building prices being the way they are, We've bought these kits, we know what the prices are, and we know we have everything we need to build it, so we're not gonna be having to run out later on to get anything else. And they're rough on, and they're just really good looking buildings, yeah. and we really like them. Oh, and they also come on the skids, like you said, which if you want, you always have another future building project. Right. So we've done that too. It is the next morning, it is 12 degrees out. Just got up to the off-grid property and waiting for the bulldozer to get up there and knock down some more piles. They got some more gravel yesterday, but they didn't have a chance to spread it. So 
we'll get that knocked down. We're trying to take advantage of this cold snap. As much as we don't want it, we're trying to use it to our advantage. I don't know how well it's gonna show up, but we're trying to fill in these ruts right now. While everything is nice and frozen, we can get some good stone in the ruts, and hopefully that'll help making the road a lot more tougher. One of the hard parts is right now is there's so much going on that you want to do it all. I want to keep down, stay down there and watching them, but I can't. I want to show you guys one of the really bad ruts. And these ruts are just from my truck. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's actually water there. And eh, we're probably a good foot deep from here all the way down over there and then on this side same way and we got a few up there so we're trying to get the big deep ruts like that filled in with stone while everything's frozen it'll just give us a lot better base to work with it is cold out there so we have all day today it's not giving getting above freezing and then I think we got probably till tomorrow till like noon time before the road will start to frost. And so I'm hoping we can have this roughed in. It won't be finished, but we can have it roughed in with the big stone down. And then once all the frost comes out, I'll be able to go through with the tractor and clean it up. So that's the goal. Kind of crazy how we went from some halfway decent spring weather to right back in the thick of winter. This is like cold winter temps right now. This isn't springtime weather. We're supposed to get out of it after tomorrow afternoon. It's supposed to start warming up, so I'm looking forward to that. We need to cut out some of our cubby hole openings. And I know we have one in this area. And then we're gonna find out where else she wants her cubby holes cut. And we'll get those cut out. And then we can start cutting in. A lot of you guys told us when we primed that you should cut in first and then roll, not roll and then cut in like we were doing. So I guess we gotta cut in first this time. First cubby hole cut. I hope it's in the right spot. Oh, babe. I think so. But it's funny with that vent there. Well, we had a joint there. So What's that called? That's our duck work. duck work. It'll be up higher once it's all done. I'll figure out a way to make that into Tanner's room. Right. Now we got to figure out where you want all the other ones cut. All the way down. Here goes nothing.
two on the side and leave the middle solid so we can have some stuff behind there. We can always cut more cutting after, but we can't, it'll be hard to put the sheetrock back on. So I really hate cutting holes in the walls. We do need storage. Just not sure how we're gonna use it and what we're gonna put in those places. So it's just hard right now. of where the two by fours meet each other, so that's why I kind of cut the corners. So that way I don't do like I did on the first one, go straight up and then have to make a repair. The worst part about cutting in first is that means we got a full five gallon bucket of paint. That we need to pour out. Uh -oh. So if you don't like this color, it's going to be everywhere. It is. There's everywhere. Five gallons of it. Yep. Or if I don't like this color, I should say. So this color is going in every room upstairs except for Olivia's room. She picked a different color for her bedroom. A few different. A few different colors, you're right. She's gonna be doing some painting, painting. All right, this would be fun. Should we put like a tray underneath? I'm liking it. You do? Yeah. You? I gotta see it all done. Right. And it's also darker right now. It is. It'll be interesting to see how it all looks with the ceiling and the wall one color. Oh, that's gonna be good. So I originally picked a color and I said, okay, that's what I'm sticking to. And then went to go get it and decided to get something else. <laughs>
Well, you know, we're just cutting in the edges. So you can see the color. Let us know what you think. I'm feeling like it's a little dark. Hoping it's gonna dry lighter. I think it's gonna dry darker, so I'm hoping not. Plus, like he said, I'm also comparing it to white. That's it for cutting in this color upstairs. I'm gonna run. Whew. That would not have been good. Where are you running to? I don't know. Nice. So now we'll let that dry. And in the morning, we'll get all the rooms up here this color painted. That's gonna be crazy. Right? It's gonna be interesting to see what it all looks like. It's gonna be crazy to see all of it painted one color. Once the white is gone, I think it's going to be so much different because right now you're comparing, I'm comparing the white to the gray, so the gray is looking a lot darker than I think it actually is. But I think it's going to look so nice, so clean and neat, and I'm going to like the flow of it just being all the rooms. And then because they're slanted ceilings, we're going to paint the ceilings also the same color because that helps not make the rooms feel small, helps them look feel bigger because there's not that stop of color.